Salve crap, it's Friday, March 24th. I'm JP Mestanza, and this is Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Let's start with our top story. Phuket health officials are announcing nine new coronavirus infections today, bringing the total on the island to 26. Meanwhile, Thailand Prime Minister Prayu Chanocha announced a state of emergency to go into effect in two days, this Thursday, March 26. Let's start with Phuket first, as Phuket Public Health Office Chief Tanit Somkel revealed during the briefing today that four out of the nine newly confirmed COVID-19 cases in Phuket came from Patong, and most had mild symptoms, prompting him to issue a warning to anyone who works or lives in Patong to take precautions. Following the earlier closures of all entertainment venues, weekend markets, and gyms, Phuket Governor Pakapong Tavipat has issued an order to close all shopping malls and main grocery stores in the same buildings starting today until at least March 31st, while all restaurants and food outlets on the island must sell takeaway food only and restaurants and hotels must serve only hotel guests. Markets, pharmacies, and small shops selling daily essentials are allowed to remain open. All swimming pools, including private pools in hotels and villas, are ordered closed. Anyone who defies the order will face a jail sentence of up to a year or a fine of up to 100,000 baht or both. Prime Minister Prayu Chanucha says that the government will declare a state of emergency starting this Thursday, March 26, and several new measures to combat the spread of coronavirus COVID-19 will take into effect on a day-to-day -day basis. During a live televised address to the nation, the Premier stressed to ties not to return to their home provinces or face penalties and to quarantine in your current location, adding that field hospitals and large-scale quarantine areas are needed. He stopped short of calling it a total lockdown, although the Prime Minister did say if the situation does not improve, a total lockdown will take place. A government committee will be formed to work out what the new requirements will be starting this Thursday. Meanwhile, Public Health Ministry today reported not only 106 new infections, bringing the total of infections in the kingdom to 827, but there's also been three more coronavirus deaths in Thailand, increasing the death toll in Thailand to four. Out of the 106 new infections in Thailand, 47 of them were people whose cases were under investigation. And out of the 826 confirmed infections, most of them, 766, remain in the hospital. Phuket X, you'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Phuket Immigration has confirmed that 500 baht a day fines are being levied on any people who remain in the country after their permits to stay have expired. Immigration officers urged foreigners needing to stay in Thailand or unable to travel home to obtain a letter from their embassy requesting the Thai Immigration Bureau to allow them to extend their stay in the country, saying that they only wait for new policies that come from the Immigration Bureau in Bangkok. The British Embassy in Bangkok has begun to issue support letters for British nationals stuck in Thailand, in addition to the Australian consulate in Phuket and the U.S. Embassy here in Thailand. Phuket immigration officers also clarify that the issue of people having to leave the country because of the per their permit to stay will expire does not apply to foreigners renewing their one-year extensions to stay. Phuket Governor Pakapong Tavipat announced that the convention hall at the new Phuket Provincial Hall, the one completed building at the site on the south side of Phuket town, will be converted into a field hospital for COVID-19 coronavirus patients. At least 100 beds along with required medical equipment will be installed in the building while Governor Pakapong said that pillows, beds and blankets will be provided by the private sector, adding that the field hospital is expected to open this Friday, March 27th. Meanwhile, four unnamed hotels in Phuket Town have offered to accommodate for free all the people so far only suspected of being infected with the coronavirus. So far in Phuket, there were 612 people put under observation for possible infection and 569 were checked and had gone home. 
And that's it for Puget Extra. Today brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Puka News page. From all of us here at the Puka News Center, the new one, thanks for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.